of the zombie jamboree. We're going to hear the interview of Mark, who, who teaches acro yoga in Oroville. So we will have the English version of this interview that we had first with Damien in French. A different interview, but uh, we are just going to have a, an explanation about what is acro yoga. So, Mark, could you explain us, please? Um. There's a lot of controversy uh, w with the word yoga in itself. And so once you say, now we're doing acro yoga, people go, wow, another type of yoga. And there's so many types. And if you're not doing it properly, why even do yoga at all? But this type of yoga really connected with me as a, a different type of yoga that allows you to connect with people as well as strengthening your body and working on connecting with your body, another person, and the divine at the same time. You can really focus on many different things at this yoga, and it's um, quite an interesting practice for me. Okay, so you can understand that this yoga uh, is... Uh, the practice of this yoga is happening with other people. It's not a lonely exercise. True. Which is one thing that got me it started in the first place is I was doing my asanas and um, it's just everything comes with time. And I appreciate that and I was doing that. But then I also felt this mechanical aspect to it. Almost a forcing. And when I connected with other people, then working together, I was stepping further without as much uh, pushing it was pleasant so that you was mean, just the difference for myself yeah the energies uh, go much further because you share it yeah and you okay. support each other yeah so uh, to to give uh, more information to people that don't know acro yoga at all mm. could you explain us a uh, uh, class of acro yoga for instance Yeah. How How is it? What, what is happening in this class? So how I would lead a typical session is when people come, they're all coming from different places, so we connect. And initially that just means connecting with the space, so I give people time to find their place there. And if they feel comfortable, both in the space and the people around them, And I know in radio, you need to keep talking and talking. But if we give a moment of silence, in the class, that really gives you a moment to ground yourself and find your place. So once people get that connection, then we can come together and we all connect, either sitting close enough to touch each other or just standing, uh, hands on the shoulders or hands on the backs, and then just small movements to get this first connection and this is so important it really can build this touch that you'll need for the rest of the practice so once this soft part is finished we can move to more concentrated stretches w just by working in pairs so then you'll find a pair a partner that's about your own size and flexibility and then we'll just Uh, I'll instruct different stretches so you'll twist together you'll one person will bend forward the other will bend backward and that way you're benefiting from your own forward bend but the slight push the support on top can help you reach further as long as you're not hurting each other which came from the touch in the beginning. You need to get that grounding and you're not going to be pushing into each other. You're just supporting each other by weight. So anyway. <laughs> 